Hello and welcome. I think the stream has started and everything's going just fine. So this evening I decided to play one of my favorite solo games. Well, it's not a solo game. You can play. You, it's actually cooperative, but it's favored for me when I play it solo. It is the Robinson Crusoe Adventures on the Cursed Island. And I'm going to play with two characters. We go, we're going to call them Esteban, this explorer here, and Annabelle, a carpenter. I also will be playing with Friday and a dog. Usually they tell you, you take a Friday. A uh, dog is like optional if you want an easier game. And game is already really hard, so... And I like the dog in my game. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm not going to teach the game, but I'm going to explain everything as I play. So this is not like a, you know, teaching session, just a playthrough. And we'll see how we're going to go and survive. We will survive. The game is basically already set up. I just need to shuffle some of these decks and do some more setup. You'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to play the first scenario called Castaways. And by the way, we are here need to show you in a beautiful uh, forest <laughs> I really like how tabletop simulator have these 360 uh, images that kind of really adds to the setting I really feel like I'm in some forest with a, with a table and playing the game all right so scenario is called castaways and I think I can read you this so you see what's happening you are castaways on a deserted island. It is the end of the summer. You have to prepare for winter. Build shelter, a roof and a palisade. It will be difficult to survive during the tough months of autumn and winter. You also have to build a pile of wood so you can light it on fire when you spot a ship on the horizon to call for help. Alright. Goal of the scenario is you must have built a fire item and a pile of wood. That's a box on the right. This is how it looks like. Uh, by the end of the 10th, 11th or 12th turn. Wood cubes can only be placed before the, before the action phase from left to right. So you're basically filling one column at a time. You can put any number of wood cubes on the pile, but no more than the one column per round. Succe succeed in this and you win. There are also some special things for this scenario, but I'm going to explain them as we go. Like if I found some of these tokens, they will be herbs, oil, sabers. Uh, there are two special inventions I can only build in this scenario. A mast and a hatchet. And we're going to see how many points I score if I, you know, survive. So first of all, let's put our turn tracker here on a turn number one. We have 12 turns. From turn one to three, there will be no weather effects. Then from... Turn 4 to 6, there will be one weather die, and then after that, all chaos will break up with all kind of animal and weather attacks. <laughs> As you can see, ship is coming like last three turns, and if by that time I get this pile of wood and light a fire, it's a win. These are my starting invention. These are the things I can build. Right now, the only thing I can build is this shovel here. Why? Because if you see this little image, like oh, little palm tree, well, it corresponds to this image here, a little palm tree on this hex where I'm right now. This is my little camp, nothing fancy, just you know, maybe pile of rocks with a little fire. <laughs> well, actually, I don't have fire yet, just pile of rocks, uh, you know, for me to to be around. <laughs> uh, this does provide two resources: food and wood. So this is where we landed on the sea and our ship is broken. I'm also going to get five random uh, inventions from this deck. Before that, uh, you will see that each of these inventions has a like terrain type. So if I found some of these mountains, I'll be able to build a knife and fire and so on and so on. So you have to explore, you know, to be able to open up these inventions to be built. This here is going to be map of the island. This here is the tracker of all phases of a turn. We have a morale track here. Uh, 
these all various decks you'll see how that work anyway since i took the explorer he starts with the shortcut invention which only he can build and carpenter starts with the snare so let's find those two first and give them to explorer and carpenter so here they are snare for carpenter and shortcut for explorer i also have to give them their health so we have this little token here starts here i'm gonna lock this down actually so esteban has is a full health right now and let's give a heart to annabelle too there it is by the way if any of your explorer dies it's game over instantly and basically if heart gets to this little you know skull uh dog doesn't have any health bars so he's indestructible but friday actually can die so we need to give one heart for him too let's just make it a bit smaller heart here it is friday has like a cabin somewhere on the island which we don't know about because as you can see here uh he doesn't need shelter doesn't need food weather effects doesn't affect him uh, only when he rolled dice he can actually take wounds i guess he has some you know special place where he's hiding but he's still helpful uh, <laughs> uh for us all right so now I'm going to shuffle this deck and put five more random inventions from the bottom of the deck. And the rest will be set aside here. So let's see. Shield. Oh, nice. Bow. Wall. Drums. Corral. Okay, we'll, we'll check that in details later on. Also, I managed to salvage from a ship two items. In this case, a Bible and a pipe and tobacco uh, okay but these have like charges uh, and once they you use them they are gone so I can read Bible twice and I can smoke the pipe twice in this scenario everything is one action spot you'll see how that work we have these little tokens so this is friday this is my explorer uh, uh where is the carpenter girl here it is and i also need a dog so these are like our worker placement tokens so explorer has two annabelle has two also one for Friday and one for dog all right now we need to form the event deck which is consisted of half of these cards that has these uh, with the question mark and half of with the cards that has this little book now in the in our scenario book doesn't really mean nothing no effect and if we ever see these symbols like this little like idol or tiki I don't know how it's called no effect very fine about that. I'm gonna shuffle the land tiles, discovery tokens, this pile here. And now, how do we form this and count event deck? Well, you count the number of rounds and then you split that in half, and half of those cards should be with the question mark, half with the book. So six and six in, in my case. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna shuffle that and place it here and we're gonna put the first player token to Annabelle and then we're gonna you know go from left to right and they're gonna change from turn to turn and I think I'm ready to start the game yeah everything else is set up all right so how the turn goes we have these phases here okay let me show you so the first phase, the green one, is the event where we draw one of these cards and place them here. Now, in this scenario, we already start with one card and they suggest you use this one. 
So we will, in the first turn, we will not use the first event card. Well, let me show you like this. Food crates. You notice food crates scattered along the shore. So you can see here uh, these little guys with the X across their shoulder uh, basically tell me how many workers I need to send to, you know, get the action. So if I send one worker, I get one food. If I send two, I get one food and one perish non-perishable food. So there are two types of food. Regular one looks like a banana and this like a toast, I guess, a bread. So this is perishable food. During the night, it's just going to go away. It's going to rot. But this one will stay. And you need food because you actually have to feed your players. So Esteban and Annabelle has to eat every night. Otherwise, they take two wounds. Also, we don't have any shelter. This, as I said, this is just camping site. But this is a shelter. Like we actually built something. Without a shelter during the night, you take one wound. Sleeping outside. So right from the start, the game is going to be tough because you're probably going to take some wounds. All right, so the other phases are morale phase. Uh, I need to set my morale to zero. This will move uh, right and left. Whenever it's in the plus, I get these determination tokens, which I use for my you know people to use the special abilities. When it's in minus, I lose the token, and if I can't, you take the wound. In this game, if you can't pay for something, both players take the wounds. All right, so after the morale phase, we have a production phase. Depending where we are, we get some resources to use. Then the action phase, when we send our workers. Then the weather phase, if we have any, you know, dice in the weather, uh, little placeholder, which is here. We roll them and some bad things happen. And the night phase, when we can actually have to eat. Uh, and we can move a campsite or, or shelter around. All right, so let's start. First event, we already know which one is. Uh, it is this one with the food crates. Second thing, morale, it's on zero. So Annabelle, as a first player, will not get any determination tokens. And by the way, her special abilities are economical construction. So you discard two of those determination tokens and one less wood to spend when you know building something. Craftsmanship, you discard two and reroll any brown die, brown die. And we have three types of dice. So for building, how does it work? If you send only one worker, you always have to roll these dice, which can, you know, you can get hurt. You might actually fail to build something will be drawn from this deck. And we have the same dice for gathering because we can build, gather, explore. We can tidy up our little, you know, campsite and rise our morale. We can rest and, you know, heal. We can go hunting if we have any animals or we can go here. And when you're building something, you put the guys on these inventions and you'll see how that works. Uh, so also I can do a new idea. I can draw five inventions and choose one. And handyman, I can get one additional worker for building. All right. While explorer can do, he's a child of fortune. So two tokens to reroll uh, uh, any green action die. So when he's exploring. Reconnaissance, this is the best action. You spend two tokens and you draw three island tiles, those hexagonal tiles, and then you choose one and shuffle the rest. Motivational speech, rise morale, and scouting to get some of these discovery tokens, which will, you'll see they are really, really powerful and good in this game. All right, so production phase, we get one food and one wood because we are here. Action phase. All right. Before the action phase, I can always choose to place one wood on a pile right away if I want to do that. that. But I think I'm going to keep it for now because as you can see here with two players, I need two wood or one animal pelt to build a shelter. Once I build a shelter, I can build the roof and palisade. It's also cost the same. This is for two, three and four players. So I'm playing two. And I can even build some weapons here, but it costs one wood. You need weapons when hunting and, you know, animals can actually attack your camp. 
So what I'm thinking to do right from the start is to build this shovel. Why? Because I know that most of these events demand you have a shovel. So I'm gonna send our carpenter Annabelle together with Friday so I know it's gonna be done. As I said, when you're sending one token you have to roll dice. When you're sending two it's just gonna be done 100%. Uh, with the explorer, I'm gonna go explore here. I'm gonna take the dog with me so I don't have to roll any dice. And then I have two more. Explorer is gonna, you know, rise morale and get some determination token. And Annabelle uh, will go and finish this for one food. Okay, uh, here you don't have to roll for anything on these cards because it actually tells you. Like, send one guy, and this is what you get. <sighs> Same li like here. Okay. Send by guy, and he's gonna get that without rolling any dice. It just applies to building, gathering, and exploring. That's why you have dice for these spaces and not for these ones here. Now I'm thinking... <sighs> Do I need a bit more food? That's the, my question right now. So I think I'm gonna be a bit... As you can see, you, all, you never have enough action. So what I'm thinking, maybe Annabelle is gonna go with Friday here. Actually, let's send Friday to build this. She's gonna get all the crates because you need to. Uh, because if Friday get hurts, I mean, what can we do? <laughs> He's kind of expendable, to be honest. Uh, all right. So let's resolve it. And when you resolve these actions after you place all the stuff, you go from left to right. So first event. Annabelle returns with this will I'm gonna put this card here with one food and one one that can perish and one that cannot perish and whatever you get during this action phase you put above it's not available yet after you finish all the action it's gonna drop down all right then building Friday has to roll some dice for building All right, so he was unsuccessful. You actually need uh, this symbol. And this will give him only two determination tokens. Uh, this and this for him means two wounds. But I do have tokens, which I, I think I can use immediately to reroll. So I can prevent some of these wounds. So I'm going to do this and reroll this question mark. Ah, still wounds. All right. So Friday got two wounds, sadly, right from the start. Didn't manage to build the shovel. Okay. Then uh, we have exploration. So me and dog return. Now let's see what we found. We found some mountains. This will open up a fire and a knife invention I can build for now. Uh, this mountain side provides food. We also get an animal here, here. It goes face down, so we don't know what kind of animal. And they go from like little bird that can't hurt you to the gorilla that can completely kill you. So hunting is kind of very risky. Also, this is a space, if you see here, where we can actually use as a shelter. So we might want to move camp here. Uh, and it's gonna give me one discovery token and for this scenario this little idol doesn't mean anything so one discovery token here 
I can put it right away. Oh, two food. Okay, so we're gonna have a lot of food and most of it is gonna spoil, sadly. Alright. Lastly, Explorer went here to get two determination tokens and increase morale by one. Alright, and now everything goes down, so this will turn into food. Alright, lots of food. Weather phase we skip, we don't have weather first three turns. Uh, night phase we have to eat, so Annabelle Esteban's gonna eat food. Do not get hurt, this will perish sadly. Uh, and then uh, we will. I'm not sure about the timing to be honest in the rule book. Do you? I think you can move the camp and then you can sleep. So I can move camp here and then sleep and not get and don't get hurt by the night. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can do that. Alright. So, this is considered to have a shelter. I mean, I, I didn't have a built it, but I guess some caves. We went into caves and we are sleeping right in the cave, so we don't get like really exposure from the outside. That was the first turn, and we didn't do much to be, on to be honest. All right, first player for the second turn, and let me just check. Oh, we have some viewers, but they're not chatting right now. Uh, event. Frost, what you fear most have just happened. So you see this question mark, uh, gray color. We have to place it on this uh, deck so we know that when once if we go gathering we have to draw cards from here usually like if you roll dice with the question mark you draw cards but with this roll or no roll you always draw a card then you remove it uh put the oof, we put one of these uh snowy clouds in the weather so we're gonna have uh, some snow today <laughs> Uh, warming the camp so later on if I send one guy with a wood or pelt it says discard this and get two determination dockers but these cards are getting pushed with the new cards and once they are completely pushed the bottom part activates so we, we can get more snow later on all right uh, morale phase uh, morale is at one so I'm gonna get one of these determination tokens then we have the production phase here we only get one food that's the only resource here a bird and a fish are basically food resources all right so at least we're gonna have two to for eating so since i'm gonna have this snowy cloud i don't want to spend this wood because during the weather phase for each snowy cloud you spend one wood and then you check your roof and if you and then you check the number of the clouds and if you have equal or higher roof nothing happens but i don't have any roof right now because i don't have a shelter and then you discard one more food and one more wood so we're gonna get hurt that's definitely gonna happen but i have a I think that during the action phase, if we explore a bit more around here, we might find something good. I have a plan. So I'm going to take a dog and explore here. Uh, we, uh, what do we want to build? You see, if I build the fire, I get the palisade, but it's not gonna work for me because you can't build the roof or palisade without shelter so I can just get the fire right now but building a weapon and going hunting could be good all right so what I'm thinking right now is maybe Car carpenter wanna smoke some pipe to get some determination tokens 
I'm not so sure. So I can get two. Yeah, let's do that. She's gonna smoke some pipe. I'm gonna get two determination tokens. And then I'm gonna send her and Friday together here to build Uh, I can build a knife or I can just well it's the same I can do it here too to rise the level of our and I'm gonna spend two determination tokens to spend one less wood okay so they will not use this wood here all right and I think I want to go here with this wood to finish that and carpenter's gonna uh, I don't know what I'm gonna find here I do have my special ability reconnaissance which I'm gonna use definitely this turn but I'm still concerned about a wood yeah I think we have food so I'm thinking to send carpenter maybe to gather now you can't gather it on your tile because it's already gathered during the production so you have to go around so I'm gonna go here and try to get some wood it's gonna be a roll but I'm hoping for the best although something will happen uh, should I do that or should I send her to maybe build a shovel Problems, problems. Actually, let's send her here. To rise our morale and tidy up a bit. Alright. Now, let's execute our actions. So, I spend the wood. And returned. And I get two more of these determination tokens. The event is prevented. Uh, then building. Oh yeah, we are building this. That's just gonna happen. So we now have a weapon level of one. All right. Gathering nothing, exploring. I went exploring here. I'm gonna use my special ability, which is called reconnaissance. Basically, I discard two of these, and then I can draw three tiles and decide which one to use. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take this one so we find the river here and these two I'm gonna put inside and shuffle all right so we find the river which will be able for us to now build a map a dam those two things some of these demand some other like this demands a rope so if I want to build the rope, I need to find this kind of grassland. I Why did I choose this one? Well, first of all, we're going to get another animal. Second, we're going to get three of these discovery tokens, which are really good. So let's see what we discovered. All right. So some of these you can cash in later on. Uh, this is called a goat, so if I have a weapon level of at least one, I get a pelt and food. This just increases our morale, and this increases our palisade level, but I need to build a shelter first. Well, technically, I think I can do that here. Because this is a shelter, I mean... 
I might not, but I want to move from here. I want to move to a place where there is food and wood. So not yet. We'll see later on. All right. And lastly, she returns, get two of these tokens and increases our morale to two. All right. Weather phase. Okay, well, this everything goes down. Now the question is, do I want to cash in some of these? Well, not yet, I think. Maybe increase our morale. All up to here, but I'm going to keep this for now. Uh, well, I might actually kill a goat, get the pelt and food. So weather phase, we have this cloud here, which means I'm gonna, I have to lose one wood, which I don't have. So we take a wound, bam. And then I don't have a roof above me. So I lose one food and one wood, which I don't have again. So one more wound for both of us. And lastly, we have to eat, so I guess we're gonna eat food to not get two wounds. And we have a shelter, so we are still in the cave, so we don't take a wound from that. But now we have a pelt, and that could be interesting. All right, we survived another turn go here I'm not gonna move the camp yet uh, or should I here's the thing the more centered you in the island it's easier to explore because depending on the distant distance from a style you are starting with it rises the number of these uh, worker tokens you have to use so for instance if i'm adjacent like i'm going from here to here i only need one guy to roll a die or two guys to have it like 100 percent sure that i'm going to explore but if i go two spaces then i need additional workers so two guys just to roll die three to be sure and even more if i go like three then it's kind of almost impossible I'm just gonna lose all my you know tokens too so you wanna you wanna get here and find the tile that has like food and and wood and build a shelter there because this only provide me food and wood is really important in this scenario I didn't place any on the pile yet and as you can see I need to do that all right event uh, oh, by the way this goes to Annabelle. A flood. Water enters the camp and washes things away. Oh, perfect. Question mark on the exploration. Turn one item to invention side. Uh, I. Item. I didn't build any or minus one my weapon level or minus one palisade or each player gets a wound oh damn i think each player is gonna get the wound in this case and then building a drain i need a shovel and a guy okay morale phase uh since we are in the maximum morale, uh, we can choose either take two determination or heal. I think Annabelle is going to choose to heal. Bam. She already had two tokens. Uh, production, we only get one food. And we're going to need more food. But here's the thing though. I can risk and hunt. <laughs> And I think I'm going to do that. So Explorer is going to go hunting with a dog. 
you need two for these and dog only you can be used for exploration or for hunting so I'm going with the dog but I'm gonna take the brunt of it so if something bad happens it's gonna happen to me with the other guy I'm gonna explore here and I'm gonna take Annabelle with me so we're gonna go together I'm still on the top so if something bad happens it's gonna happen well actually Annabelle should go first Oh, but I'm not sure then I can I do the special ability. I think I still can. Uh, why Annabelle? Because I'm gonna get hurt from uh, from hunting and then if I get hurt again from exploring, it's gonna be too bad. And uh, we have Friday and Annabelle. We need to build... Uh, actually, I need to remove this. We need to build something. Maybe a map. So Friday and Annabelle is going to go here to build the map. Why? Because then I can build a shortcut. And if you look here, it says put this little token on any adjacent to your camp. During the production phase, you get one resource available on that tile. So that's really good because like if I put it on a tile like this, I can choose food or wood later on. All right, let's resolve. Nothing adventures, hunting. So, the moment of truth. Iguana! Oh, alright. So, from left to right, you can see the Iguana has a strength of 4. And my weapon level is 1. So, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, I will take 3 wounds. 1, 2, 3. Bam. Passing over this little marker will lower our morale. Actually, not me, but Annabelle. Wait, one, two, three. Annabelle's gonna take three wounds. One, two, three. Well, it's still gonna lower our morale. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, we lose one level of weapons. So whatever we build, some kind of stick, it's gone. But we found three food. And we get a pelt. And there is something else on the bottom. Regardless of your weapon level, you get an additional wound. Oof. But don't worry, we're gonna heal her very soon. <laughs> Iguana. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Let's go back. One, two, three, four. It's the explorer. He's hunting. Annabelle is actually exploring later on. So, one, two, three, four. Alright. We go back to tell a tale about a uh, really bad iguana. But now we're gonna have food. Uh, most of it's gonna spoil, but at least we're not gonna starve. Building. Uh, Friday and Annabelle have built a map. I'm gonna put it here it's gonna be available later on and exploring I'm gonna do my reconnaissance stuff actually I only need two for that so we're gonna draw three tiles uh, although I do have to resolve uh, event first because there is a question mark here. So let's remove it and let's see what happened during the exploration. Vipers! As you take your next step, you get bitten by a viper. That's gonna happen to Annabelle, she was on top. Put this on your character's head, shuffle into the event deck. Oh no, Annabelle got... Okay. Viper... Bite her on, on the ear, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And this gets shuffled. Well, actually, let me see what's gonna happen. Fever. As you expected, this small bite turn into a serious illness. If you don't have cure, the character with bite on the head has only one. Okay, this card. Okay, so later on, it's, she might get a fever. All right, so what I'm looking for is probably this tile here. This will be the perfect tile to get a shelter later on. So we're gonna return these two. Shuffle. We're gonna lock this down 
and we found the river well that's the second river one discovery token oh a chest Ooh. okay so let's resolve that so everything goes down lots of food lots of pelts a chest and we have a map which give us this green guy which you can use to for exploring but he has to go with someone but it's kind of like a dog so i guess the dog from now on will be used with, with for hunting and this guy will be used for exploring because this is permanent this is not only once uh i think i think it's permanent yeah mo most of these are once but i think these guys we can use it all the time i'm not so sure i'm not 100 percent sure to be honest uh i can check the rules i guess but i don't want to so i'm gonna play it like it's permanent for now all right uh, let's resolve this little chest so we have this deck here and you draw cards until you find the first with the chest symbol oh here it is amulet with the portrait of a beautiful lady gives you hope in a moment of despair uh cover two on a character cards two on one character or one on two characters mm. okay so basically what happens i can do this i can do this or here and then when health goes over it i will not lose morale i actually thinking to put it here because i'm probably gonna heal so let's do that and let's do one here for annabelle right here for now all right uh gonna smoke actually no wait not yet uh weather phase we don't have weather uh during the night uh we gonna eat and we have to move this shell uh, we have to move sadly because i really have to move here which means we're also gonna take a wound from exposure but i'm planning to build a shelter here so and this will spoil bam all right well it is what it is we go to turn number four and from now on we're gonna have orange dye here with some weather um first player is esteban so let's continue new event this one is pushed to the left a storm the ocean is in a full mood today well we already have this token here so it stays storm in the weather space all right so let me explain what the storm is going to do during the weather space we're going to lose one palisade and if we don't have any you take the wound oh damn it and later on oh so we need a guy a shovel or a wood we can lose more palisade damn so if i build the shelter this turn i cannot build the palisade why because shelter is not yet built right you can't build a shelter and palisade in the same turn so i will take some wounds from this that's that's just gonna happen anyway morale phase i get two of these tokens <sighs> probably gonna use two for reconnaissance again the thing that i don't have a shovel is really bad but we are building shelter uh annabelle and friday oh wait i'm kind of rushing uh production phase one food and one wood so someone is not gonna eat 
today but I'm thinking to risk it so Annabelle will go with the dog to hunt I'm playing lots of risk here that's not good for this game <laughs> uh, I'm exploring with this guy here and I'm gonna use my reconnaissance then I'm gonna go with Friday and we're gonna build a shelter with one pelt uh, we, before that I would put at least one wood or should I yeah I need to start building a pile and then uh, I have Annabelle alone she's gonna try to build a shovel actually to build a fire no I can't do that shovel but it's gonna be a roll all right let's resolve it nothing here hunting come on please don't be something bad a bear <laughs> oh my god all right six wounds one two three four five six this goes down one then additional wound because I don't have uh, any level of weapons so this goes down to zero oh my god what happened here Uh, we do have a five food. <laughs> and uh, two pelts. Okay. A bear. Building. So, let's do this first. So uh, we're gonna have a shelter built. Put this mark here. It's called cost us one pelt. And then Annabelle went to build a shovel. Let's see will she be successful. She is without any wounds. She just managed to build a shovel after fight with the bear. Well, I guess if you survive the bear, then everything else is quite easy. <laughs> uh exploring all right i return i'm gonna do reconnaissance again so drawing three okay getting these hills here wouldn't be bad i'm gonna lock that another animal Two, exp two discovery tokens and a place for wood all right we return we have a shovel I'm gonna cash in this and we're gonna have plus one palisade uh, all this goes down let's see these two okay we can cancel one cloud and some wood all right and now the weather is gonna strike so the storm will destroy this palisade but at least we don't take any wounds and now let's roll this okay we have uh, as you can see two rainy clouds so what will happen you're gonna check your roof level and for each well i can cancel one okay okay so i have one rainy cloud so because i don't have a level one roof i cannot prevent rain so we will lose one food and one wood because when raining you're staying inside and you know using wood to you know get to not get cold uh during the night we can eat and all of this gonna sadly spoil all right and um
I'm gonna smoke some tobacco. I mean, Annabelle will. To get two more tokens of determination. And you'll see why she has four. Okay, we go to turn number five. She's the first player. All right, so, and since we do have a shelter, no wounds. A uh, new event, this will be pushed. So this will happen, minus one palisade, we don't have any, so that those are wounds. Oof, Annabelle is almost dead. Then we have this event, loss of hope. Well, <laughs> kind of thematic. This round, the first player can only build, tidy up, and rest. All right. Well, I was thinking to do that anyway, uh, m minus the building. All right. And zero morale, so she doesn't have any tokens. Production, we get one food, one wood. All right. And now the actions. Uh, well. I'm thinking to put this wood before the actions here. And now... Or... I have a better idea. So we're gonna send Friday and me... Here, with one wood. To build the hatchet. As you can see, you need mountains and wood. We have all, all of that. Then... Me and Annabelle will go to build some roof using a pelt. Annabelle will go here actually to rest. So she can build. Yeah, she can build, rest and tidy up. She's gonna rest a bit. Actually, she's gonna go here. Because I can read the Bible, and only guy that is left is a dog. Well, in that case, we're gonna do this. Annabelle's gonna do special ability, uh, handyman, discard three to get one of these guys for building. So, that's what I'm gonna use here to build the roof. And Annabelle is going to go also here. Alright. That should heal her enough. Oh, damn. But I need a guy here. Let's do this instead. All right, let's resolve. So first, discard, discard, and get one determination token. So this is gone. No hunting, building, for one pelt. We get the roof of level one, for now. And hatchet. This is built, so we get this little plus one, uh, let me check, on the tile with your camp, so from now on we're gonna produce more wood. Okay, that, that is that, me and Friday managed to build the hatchet, and lastly, she went here, that's uh, two tokens of determination. Mission, check. And uh, morale goes up by one. But if she reads a Bible, she gets three tokens and heals one. So let's do that twice. She's gonna really read this Bible. And basically get 
All right, instead of two, that should be three, and then three more. I guess I guess you can do it like that. Okay, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. So let's just heal her once and read Bible once. I'm not so sure is this working like you can use it immediately twice. Or maybe you can. I guess you can. I know you can like accumulate this like with the weapons. Yeah, I think I can. I, I think you can. So I'm going to just read this Bible. She's going to heal twice. And get three more of these tokens. I guess so. You, I guess you can do that. I'm not so sure because some of these really are, uh, are ambiguous. Like you're using one action, but if you read Bible twice, it's like you're doing it twice. I think so. We'll see. All right. Uh. Nothing up to go down, so weather. It's a one rainy cloud. We have a roof level one, so nothing happens. And uh, night phase, only one of us can eat. It's gonna be Annabelle. And I'm gonna star and take two wounds. Oh Jesus. Uh, this goes morale down to one. Down to zero. And uh, nothing else happens. That's it. We have a shelter. All right. Goes back to me. Turn number six. And we're still alive somehow. All right, event. Bad feeling. You have a bad feeling about this. So I have to put this on the gathering resource, this little token, which means I have to reroll the win result. Okay. Then, uh, morale phase zero. No, I don't get any tokens. Production, we get one food and two wood. And I think we're gonna place both of these wood on a pile here. We can fill one column per turn. All right, so this turn must be a busy turn. So first thing first, Annabelle is gonna use three of these tokens. And... Uh, and get this worker guy we're gonna need him so uh annabelle and the worker guy will build some roof with the pelt uh, i'm going exploring with this here uh, friday will go to deal with this me We'll try to build a shortcut because now I do have a map. And Annabelle will try to build a fire. Yeah, let's let's do that. And let me see something. She can reroll. I cannot reroll because I don't have any. Well, we'll see. Let's resolve it. Uh, Friday have done this, so we discard it, and he gets one of the determination tokens. Uh, building, so this will just happen. We have a level roof of two. The worker is gone. She returns. 
So I'm trying to build a snare. So I have to roll. Okay, I'm successful, but I take the wound and that's gonna kill me unless uh, yeah I can I cannot reroll. So I tried to build a snare alone, <laughs> got caught up with the ropes and strangled myself somehow <laughs> and died. And uh, that's gonna be the end of the game sadly. I totally forgot I don't have tokens to reroll, so this was a big risk. Well, I took a lot of big risks this game, like hunting with only level 1, but I was hoping it's gonna be a little birdie. <laughs> it was a bear. Alright, well, that was the Robinson Curse Crusoe on the Cursed Island. And the Plato was really cursed, as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna leave this a bit so the stream catch up. Let's see, was there any questions? No. And uh, I guess see you next time because I'm probably gonna try this again. Maybe I'm gonna play it a bit smarter and less risky next time. Thanks for watching.